Are you a young girl or boy who can sing in a really high pitched tone in an operatic way? Then congratulations, you can be the background for a superhero movie trailer. Isn't that right, Age of Ultron and Suicide Squad? I'm sensing a pattern that the joke was on me. I'm Batman. Hi, I'm Andre. I'm a black nerd. In my last video, I talked about the Batman v Superman Donald Justice trailer, so I thought I was done talking about trailers, and then Suicide Squad had to be like, wait a second. So let me tell you the controversy behind this trailer. So they showed this trailer during Comic-Con in the Hall H panel after Batman v Superman. So Batman v Superman's trailer immediately on the internet for all to see from Warner Brothers directly. Suicide Squad, for some reason, they decided we're not gonna put that out on the internet yet. So of course, a bunch of people who were not supposed to be filming, Leak this thing in low quality, and Warner Bros. was like, mm, oh, I'm mad. How dare you put our trailer out that we showed to thousands of people in a public location on the internet? Mm, well, I guess we're just gonna have to publicly release a trailer and make a big stink about it so that you all write news articles about it and share the trailer that we're now showing publicly to everyone so everyone can watch it at the same time and give it a lot of views and have people talking about it for the next few days. Oh, but we're mad though! Mm, you've made me very angry indeed! I see what you did there, WB. And I ain't mad at you. You use that publicity. You use the fanboys to your bidding. <laughs> I don't really know that much about Suicide Squad. That's why I really haven't been talking about it when all the photos and stuff came up. The only thing I've ever talked about was the cast of it and, of course, the Jared Loco Joker. Jared Loco, Jared Loco Joker. That's probably a good name for him now. I now call him Jared Loco. What's really cool about this trailer, especially coming off the heels of the Dawn of Justice trailer, is it's really setting the tone of how this DC movie universe is gonna be. A more serious, more subdued, but still colorful and still jokes when they need to. We were worried that there was all this talk about no humor in DC movies or anything like that. There's gonna be jokes, but it's not gonna be like that, hey, we're saving the world, but we're making quippy one-liners. It's like, no, there will be humor, but it will be a dark, twisted sense of humor, and you can see it in this trailer. Go for it. You ain't gotta be like the other peeps. You do your thing. Amanda Waller, Viola Davis, perfectly sets up this trailer. Just hearing her talk, it just sets up what we're about to get into. Here are a group of of bad people. Put them together to be a squad for us to stop even worse people. So that way, if they succeed, then hey, we did it, y'all. Get all the credit. If they fail or if they do something stupid, they'll be like, oh, we don't know them people. That's them bad guys. You've seen them. But what I really want to know is, Amanda Waller, where you get that steak from? That steak looked delicious. I want some of that. We also get a lot of Harley Quinn in this trailer, which is great because this is the first time that we're getting a live action Harley Quinn and Margot Robbie. You are Harley Quinn. I see it. I love it. It looks like we're going to get a lot of her origin story, which made me think back to the old Batman animated series. For those who don't know, Harley Quinn used to actually be a psychiatrist, Dr. Harley Quinzel, and the Joker was one of her patients, and the Joker manipulated her because she's always fascinated with crazy people, and you're going to lose your mind, and you become Harley Quinn for Mr. J. The animated series was probably a little bit lighter in tone on how they're gonna change her Harley Quinn than this movie's gonna be. I can tell, I mean, they got her strapped down. I don't think he's gonna don to Tilly her. I think that's gonna be some straight up real, real bad torture. But yeah, this is gonna be the Harley Quinn movie, the Harley Quinn Deadshot movie with some other characters. And speaking of Deadshot, Will Smith is Deadshot. He looks good in this. It's really hard sometimes to not look at him and not think Will Smith. Every time I see him, I wanna go, whoa! But I'm not gonna do that. You are Deadshot, I see it. And I think he's gonna be good. And you can see in this trailer that he's gonna have the moments where he's badass shooting stuff. And he's gonna have those sentimental moments with his daughter and that's really awesome Just be careful with his lines the way that sometimes Will Smith delivers lines He's so known for making catchphrase lines. You got to be careful because one time when he goes so we're the patsies we're some kind of suicide squad ah, ah, That's the title of the movie ha ha be careful with those lines. You didn't think Jared Leto could be the Joker? Whoo! Okay, let me tell you something. Heath Ledger's Joker is like that Joker that you're scared of, but you still want to hang out with. Like, that's why everybody was dressing up like him and doing his voice. Why so serious? Because like, yeah, you crazy fool, but I would hang out with you if I had the chance. You know, same thing with Mark Hamill's Joker from the animated series. Cesar Romero from the 60s Batman. Jack Nicholson. You crazy, but I hang out with you. This Joker though? Mm -mm. No, no, nah, man, I don't want to hang out with you. I don't want to be on the same street as you. If I see you walking in the same direction I'm walking, I'm crossing the street to the other side. You scared me, man. You look like part Joker, part gang member with all the tattoos. <laughs> grills, some Joker grills. And you got people dressing up as panda bears and Batman masks shooting at people. Uh-uh. That's the kind of Joker that's just full on scary. I'm excited about you, but you got to stay away from me, man. I'm scared of you. <laughs> Killer Croc. They show a close-up of his face and it looks really good. And someone told me that it's actually practical, 
makeup. It's not like CGI. It's a thumbs up the thing. You got a little run for your money right here with the Killer Croc. Although, I'm sorry. I, it, it's maybe just because I've seen the movie so many times, but I cannot stop looking at Killer Croc's face and not think of the Goombas from the Super Mario Brothers movie. I know that he's Killer Croc, but every time he comes up on the screen, I just want to go. <laughs> they even showcase in this trailer that it is connected with the universe. It mentions Superman. Do you see Batman in this? They are really establishing that this is part of the universe and they're doing a good job. Thumbs up. So I think this movie's got a lot going for it with this trailer. The only thing that I'm going to say both for the trailer and for the movie itself is it's going to have to take some time establishing these characters. A lot of people are going to know Harley Quinn. Some people are going to know Deadshot. Some people are going to know Killer Croc. But after that, it's going to start getting to the territory of, mm, if you're a real comic book fan, then you would know who these characters are. And for the mainstream audience, that's going to be a little tough. You're throwing a bunch of heroes or villains or villain heroes or anti-heroes, whatever you want to call them, on the same screen at the same time, try to focus on each one of these so we can get a little bit of background of them, of what their abilities are, so we can have some heart, heart feelings for them. I know this was the first trailer, so I feel like it did a good job in just establishing that this is a team. Hopefully they focus on each of the characters so we can really understand who the squad is, so we can like them just like we like any other superhero team we knew prior. I know you can do it, DC. You know what? You have proven yourself this week that you are ready to play ball. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, and I'm just gonna chain chomp you real, real bad. Yelp. <laughs>